Thank you for attending my talk everyone. I am Karan Ahuja, a fourth year PhD student at the Human Computer Interaction Institute of Carnegie Mellon University. Today, I'm going to talk to you about my work on classroom digital twins with instrumentation free case tracking. This work was done with my amazing collaborators, Devil, Sujit, Francesca, Amy, Yuvraj, and Chris. Classroom sensing is an important and active area of research with great potential to improve instruction. Prior systems have actively looked at monitoring the gaze of students and instructors for it. For these purposes, they have explored two main approaches. The first is instrumenting the wearer with an eye tracking headset, which although accurate is very invasive and expensive, thus making it not scalable. The second approach is to instrument the environment with sensors such as depth and RGB cameras. These approaches are significantly less accurate compared to their wearable counterparts, but offer a comparatively cheap and scalable gaze tracking solution. As most of them do not capture the classroom in 3D, they can merely detect the gaze direction vector in isolation rather than encoding what exactly students and instructors are gazing at. In response, motivated by these prior techniques, we built an approach that provides a holistic framework for providing the six stuff gaze capture of students and instructors while also capturing 3D scene, all the while making use of only two cameras. As the first step, the classroom must be digitally twinned by our software. This requires temporarily placing fiducial markers on the walls, floors, writing surfaces, screens, and podium, a process that takes just a few minutes. Then, using the view from both cameras, our system automatically composites a 3D digital twin. This is what the digital twin looks like for different room scales and geometries. For gaze tracking, we built a separate computer vision pipeline that estimates the 3D position and 3D head rotation of students and instructors in the classroom. We start by first detecting all of the faces in the scene using retina face and then run a landmark detection library along with solve PNP to find the six degrees of freedom of the corresponding face. This data can then be plotted in the digital twin. Real-time gaze data is logged to a database allowing for later playback, analysis, and further end-user applications. Since the location of important classroom foci, such as whiteboard and screens are known, many statistics can be derived, such as the percentage of student attention across locations. We can also generate heat maps of gaze attention, for example, where students are looking on a projection screen, or a top-down view of instructor gaze across a class session. Our web-based 3D interface can also be explored with the VR headset, allowing a user to walk around the digital twin and replay data from different perspectives. We evaluated our system in a controlled study with ground truth gaze targets across eight participants and also deployed our system in five real classrooms for one semester and had human annotators evaluate our system's gaze estimation performance. To summarize, our system has a mean gaze error of 21 degrees and finds faces correctly 96% of the time. This compares favorably against prior works highlighted in the table. While the results of our system look promising, there are several technical limitations that need to be addressed. First is that our model does not track eye gaze directly but rather makes use of head pose as a proxy for gaze. Furthermore, estimating points of gaze from the gaze vector still has some ambiguity in it. A single gaze vector can intersect with multiple planes or objects, thus having multiple candidate focal points. In such cases, a cone of gaze rather than a point of gaze may make more semantic sense. Lastly, Digital twinning needs a curation of objects of interest by placing fiducial markers on them. In the future, with advances in computer vision-based approaches, we hope to automate this step as well.